So I'm here with uh, Professor uh, Remco van Hook of uh, PwC. Remco, your approach to this session was uh, a little bit different uh, to other sessions we've had. Uh, you, you very much customised it. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about how you prepared to, uh, to get ready for the session and deliver it? Yes, absolutely. It was, it was a fascinating process. What we essentially did is we spoke to all of the club members in advance of the session about what the questions are that they're struggling with uh, in the subject area and what questions they bring into the room. And then that provided the focus for the research that we did. So going into the session, we started playing back the questions that they brought into the room. We then shared some of the research findings against those questions and used it as a basis for discussion uh, and peer-to-peer -peer sharing and learning. So that it was very much on target, very much on point, and hopefully driving sort of actionable takeaways for them. The session did hit hit, uh, hit the spot with a lot of the delegates. It was uh, it was very well received and uh, got a lot of interest going. Why do you think why do you think SRM is so uh, so important and relevant? I think that SRM is um, in several studies earmarked as an area of increasing focus, not just now but also for the years to come. And I think there's a lot of obvious reasons for that. First of all. The procurement profession has gone long and far in the area of getting spent on a management. Um, there are not a lot of new areas that we can turn to for sourcing initiatives. We're done with that in many respects. Um, that's number one. Secondly, the risk profile of supply chains today has really, really risen due to breakdowns of supply chains, volatility in prices, uh, logistical challenges, uh, environmental concerns, and as a result, um, sort of in the a procurement portfolio we're moving towards more relationship centric approaches for managing external spend and then finally um, we all know that you can negotiate a saving and a discount and you can contract it but the difference between paper-based results and realized results is in how you manage the relationship so it's crucial to uh, deliver the results uh, to show the value um, and it's also a path towards premium uh, benefits such as innovation coming from suppliers as well.